What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Mark with Red Star Loft. We're about to take off in a few minutes. There we go. Getting scattered already. They make it out on their own for the most part. There's usually, you know, after maybe five minutes of the door being open, there's usually maybe four or five birds that are left inside the loft. Everybody else has made their way out, so. Take a look real fast. Nice day today as well. It's about low 70s right now. Very mild wind, so enjoyable i'm sure they'll they'll enjoy it just got to get all of them out let's see there's the first group they're already picking up speed or picking up height i should say And they're not storming out just yet, but they do better time after time, so we'll wait a little bit, let them all get out there, and then I'll be uh, back with you guys, give me a bit. We got a bigger group that's picking up some height and picking up some speed and then we got these four or five guys that are falling behind trying to catch up to them but I'm expecting these guys to start ranging any day now okay here they go they're, they're catching up to them now they've joined the groups together but I'm expecting them to uh, start ranging any day now because they are picking up some real height and they do disappear for a few minutes at a time. I can't see them anywhere in the sky, so... It's slowly... it's They're slowly beginning to range, so that's what I'm... That's my, ne my next goal and the next thing that I'm waiting on, so... A little tricky with the sun in your eyes to, to know exactly where you're looking, but I'm trying to swing the camera the right way, but you can see them. It's a big group. It's about 50 birds in there. Always have a few tree dwellers, but there you've got. Uh, one separate. Yep, that's the red saddle that's separated. He just simply cannot keep up with the rest of them. There they go. I'm trying to work the zoom and get them in a shot at the same time, but behind the trees now. Yeah, now they're kind of going in the opposite direction of the house. They're swinging it back. So, there you see him. There you see him. Alright, welcome back. What you guys just watched was Sunday. Sunday morning's clip. Right now it's Monday morning when I'm going to be uploading the video. Took advantage of the day yesterday. It was a beautiful sunny day. Today is cloudy, windy, not nearly as nice, so... I've had the birds up in the air. If my memory serves me right, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, lined up four days of flying for the young birds. Come on, you gotta go the other way. There you go. Lined up four days of flying for the young birds. Yesterday they did real well. 
they flew a little bit of a little over an hour and a half so i was real pleased with that and uh yeah just took advantage of those days that i knew were coming were gonna be nice days it said that today was gonna be kind of crappy and windy and cool so but every day i try to come by my breeders and uh granted they're not super hungry now but every day i try to come and uh, hand feed them either feed either some feed or some grit look at him he's just uh Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bird. My favorite bird in the whole loft, no doubt. That is the uh, one of the that's the Gannis cockbird. So we'll feed the breeders today. Plus, it's got brewer's yeast on it, so they're always a little standoffish. We'll feed the breeders today, or I mean now, and then my young birds. I've been feeding later in the day. Stopped feeding him in the morning like I used to. Let's get a look at him. This blackbird right here looks identical to his mom. And he's just real, real pretty. Liking the way he's turning out so far. But I'll let you guys take a, take a look at them. Like I said, got almost an hour and 40 out of them. Still have the same three that don't fly. This one and the two saddles that you see up there. And the red one even tries, but hes it seems like he can't keep up. He tries to get with the uh, flock, but after a few laps, a couple minutes maybe, he just falls behind and goes in his own, uh, goes his separate direction. So most of the birds are out in the aviary, so. After they're locked up all night, as soon as I open up that aviary, they, they all gather to it, so... Yeah, the young birds are doing good, no complaints. No complaints with them. Real happy with their progress overall, so... Even they're noticing a... They're noticing a shift in temperature. They're much calmer and quieter today than they were yesterday or any of the previous days really but let's uh oh, I gotta get them gotta get more grit let's take a look at these guys so my breeding is officially over my last egg has hatched so 2020 breeding season has come to an end I do still have a few birds handful of birds and my dad's this was my last one down here and uh it's hatched so we are officially done let me uh get the feet in here for these guys as you can see they didn't quite finish everything yesterday but that's okay they're they're breeders so they're uh they need to have extra food <clears throat> and as soon as i uh wean the last of the young ones and i cut them back on food on feed I gotta get all these grates lifted up and cleaned underneath because it does, uh, it did get pretty, uh, pretty messy down there. Food accumulates like crazy over a few months, but so nothing up there. Wooden eggs, she laid an egg which is gonna be replaced by wooden eggs. My last third round, again, this bird's right there blue bars as they usually are my uh, red hen uh, red cock black hen you've seen their last last round over there sorry about that but yeah so you can see they're done as well my other pair of reds there's the cock bird that's their third round And then this is my, the checks, the ones that I'm about to show you, that's the cockbird right there. And the hen is right there. And the birds look real nice, they're both checks. One's a real dark check, almost looks black. The other one's much lighter. You can see them 
and they both have uh, white flights so pretty uh, cool looking birds as well as white heads so only second round out of them but I'll take it I'll take it because they're both mom and dad are really great birds so those have hatched two days ago as well so they're still real little these guys my pair from uh, Jim Ward these are third round as well you can see growing up nice and fast and then they're due these guys are due to be banded today I gotta get on that but they always throw out some real nice colors so I'm real curious to see how they're gonna look and uh, like I said just hatched these are the young that I put down on the floor. Just get a look at a couple of them. Those are siblings right there. And then some boom bars. And uh, yeah, that's where we are, guys. Them two are molting like crazy. You can see what they look like. What they look like. So. I'm gonna get them grit and I'm gonna go band those two young birds and uh, yeah that's all I got for you guys hope you enjoyed the video it's Sunday and Monday video so have fun uh, and uh, blah, sorry lost my train of thought but yeah like share comment subscribe as usual and uh, I appreciate you guys watching I'll be back with you um, towards the end of the week thanks and have a good one